Nassau County is now the first municipality in the nation to ban face coverings in public. County Executive Bruce Blakeman signed the measure into law today. Campus protests and crime prompted the, ba the ban, which was hotly debated. Long Island reporter Shante Lanz is live in Mineola with the latest on the potential fines that offenders face and how opponents to the law are reacting today. Shante. Well, Lauren, I can tell you the ACLU is currently exploring legal options. Meanwhile, Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman, surrounded by dozens of supporters celebrating today that that mass ban is now the law. <laughs> With the stroke of the pen, Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman now making it the law in Nassau County to ban the use of wearing face masks. This is a broad public safety measure. What we've seen is people using masks to shoplift, to carjack, to rob banks, and this is activity that we want to stop. Nassau legislator Mozzie Pillow, a Republican from Great Neck who is Jewish, proposed the bill, she says, to stop targeted hate crimes. We are not going to allow anyone to attack our Jewish brothers and sisters. Wearing a face covering of any kind in public is now a misdemeanor offense in Nassau County, punishable by up to $1,000 or up to a year in jail. Exceptions are made for health and religious reasons. Anti-Semitism is a real issue, but passing an ordinance that is going to be struck down by the court doesn't do anything to solve that issue. Paula Frome is a member of the Nassau Residents for Good Government. She fears the ban will prompt profiling by police. All of these people are subject to being stopped by the police to ask them why they're wearing a mask. I think the police have better things to do. Nassau police giving some details on how the ban will be enforced. With respect to training, training is being conducted in preparation of this being signed. We kind of saw it coming, we give it a heads up. Training's ongoing at all levels of the department, which means across all ranks. It really puts the police in a very difficult position. Democratic Nassau legislator Scott Davis says the minority caucus proposed a law that would avoid possible infringement on a person's constitutional rights by not stopping people wearing masks, but instead adding charges and penalties for wearing a mask while committing a crime. I think this is a failed opportunity. It's not too late. We can address the concerns that the majority caucus has. And both Governor Hochul and New York City Mayor Eric Adams are both exploring new possible legislation to stop criminals from wearing masks. In Mineola, Shante Lands, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.